Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I normally do what solds every Monday. However, I was out of town for nine days, so I was not able to do what sold this past Monday. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you everything that sold that was over $15. There were a lot that were under, but for the sake of time, I am only going to show you those that were over $15 buy price. And we, since the 21st, have had just under $4,000 go out. We have had slow sales the past few days. It is a little bit better today, so hopefully that will pick back up. So let's go ahead and see. What All right, so here I am going to show you, you can see one of 84, we had $3,928.45 go out since the 21st, which is when I did my last what sold video. So let's go ahead and take a look at my overview just so you guys can see here real quick. So $294 today. So like I said, it's a little bit better. We've done 2,500 the last seven days and the last 31 days we have done $19,266. So not too shabby. We are up 100% from the last 30 days because our average is about 10,000. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sold. So up first is this Elizabeth Arden Byzantium Kitty Cat Trinket Box. This was from Japan. I got it in a lot. I paid $5 each. I got three of them. This one was just listed March 16th. So it sold in about two weeks for $19.49, making it about a $13 profit. Up next, this is an antique cobalt blue willow oyster serving plate. So I got this in a bio. If you see, this one only was listed yesterday. This one, it was kind of crazy because I did comps on Worth Point and they were only showing about $40 to $50. And then I checked current comps on eBay. There was one that sold for $120, one that sold for $50. So I actually accepted a best offer today of $100. My sales were lower. So I am happy to have that sale. I got this for only five dollars from a personal buyout you can see here we show the measurements and this is not marked but keep an eye out for serving dishes especially with like the willow the blue willow wear but this one is an oyster plate keep an eye out for teapots gravy boats things like that tend to be your higher selling items on these and this one's going to be over an 80 dollar profit and then this one was listed in December. I wanted to put this up because we sold four. So it, this was over a $35 sale. These are just plain linen handkerchiefs or napkins. They were made in Ireland. And I had eight of them. Somebody bought four for $40. I am less, well, it was about $36. I am less than $4 in. So this is going to be about a $25 profit. And they sold in about three months. Now, if I am sourcing individually, you will not see me pick up plain white ones like this, but I got these in a lot. So they came with some, you know, ones with some vibrant prints and that is why I got them. Up next, this one was listed on Valentine's Day. So it's been listed about a month and a half. This actually went international. So I got these candles. I actually ended up buying all that she had. So I paid $4 a piece for these. I was $8 in. They sold for $32.49. They're about a $20 profit. Watch for these Woodwick candles. There are some bigger ones that are worth more. I did get some bigger ones that day. And some of the scents will sell higher. This one was white teak. They were 9.7 ounces. But don't, don't pass up don't pass up candles, guys, especially if they're high quality ones like these. These sold pretty fast and a decent profit. Next, listed less than a month. This is a Memo Man. I sold three of them for $25.99. This is the last one to sell. The funny thing with this is somebody tried to send me a lowball offer yesterday 
for $9.99 and I declined them. And the last one sold for full price of $25.99. I paid a dollar from George the Antique Nomad, making this a $20 profit. It actually was 60 on the three of them that I picked up. You can see zero available, three sold. And the person that lowballed me yesterday messaged me today asking if I had more and I told them no. That was it. So keep an eye out for your drug rep stuff. It definitely sells. And especially if it's something kind of novelty like this, it will bring you more money. This is another item that was listed for less than a month. It was listed March 10th. This is a Callaway golf hat. It sold for $16. I paid less than a dollar for this at the bins. It was in excellent condition, as you see. And another one, somebody tried to lowball me. They sent me an offer on this hat of $9.99. I countered them at $15. They declined and it sold for full price within three hours. Now, this one is going to be about a $14 profit. Watch out for Callaway as far as your golf clubs, as far as golf clothes. It definitely sells and we are coming into golf season now. All right, I hope you see a lot more of these to come. This is a vintage 85th anniversary Harley Davidson pin. It sold for $45.49. My daughter has been listing these. She has listed 150 so far. You can see she shows the front, the back. She does zoom in so they can see where it was made. This one was made in New Zealand. And she also shows them with the tape measure. So this one sold in under a week. For $45, I bought I bought 530 of these. And actually, the crazy thing is I got another package while I was on vacation of pens they forgot to include. And I think I got about 100 more. So I believe I am right at a dollar into this. And it is over a $40 profit. And this did go international. So make sure you have standard international turned on for those $50 or less items. I think it gets you a lot more sales because the shipping is cheaper. All right, this one sold to Amy over at Edge City Traders. She actually bought a few more. Those were under $15. So I'm not going to show those, but Amy, thank you so much for your continued support and purchases. Amy buys from me pretty regularly. This is a beautiful scalloped edge handkerchief. You can see we do zoom in to show the quality of the work. And this is the back. And this one sold to Amy for $19.49. I did pay a dollar. So this one's about a $17 profit. So several people have commented on my thrifting videos and said, $15 to $20 for a single hanky? Absolutely. I get it regularly from 10 to 20, sometimes 25 to $30 for a single handkerchief. I do list all of my hankies individually. All right, this one here I got at my local flea market. It sold for $38.99. I picked the two of these up for $5, so they are close to a $30 profit. Now, if you see here, these do have fabric on the inside and then They've got little horse and carriage scenes. They were supposed to be poofed up, but I think over time, kind of the fluff has worn down there. And on the back, they do say made in Italy. You will see here I zoomed in. So it's kind of cut off the made and you can see the Italy. But these two, again, $38.99 sold in about a month. Keep your eye out for these vintage ornate frames. These are small, guys. Look at the measurements. They are three inches by four inches. Keep your eye out for those vintage frames while you are out. And then another of my Longa Burger baskets. This one sold for $19.49. I did pay $8 a piece. This is about a $10 profit. This is a very, very small basket, though. And you can see I do have the liner. I have the protector. It is in excellent condition. Here is the bottom. All Longa Burger baskets are marked to my knowledge. And this is six inches by just under three inches tall. 
And again, about a $10 profit. So some of these Longa burgers were not as valuable, but I am way in the profit. So in reality, all of this is coming back as profit because we were in the profit on several high dollar selling Longa burgers. Keep an eye out. I typically recommend I would get the accessories like the liner and the protector there on the inside, or I would get baskets as a complete set. I don't think I would pick up plain baskets without the liner and protector unless they're very large ones. And also keep an eye out for Longa Burger wrought iron furniture. It brings very, very high dollar. This one sold in less than a month, paid a dollar. It sold for $16.24. It's about a $14 profit. This one says, don't worry, be crabby. Bayou Bill's Crab House, Panama City Beach, Florida. I tell you guys all the time, like these shirts that are for restaurants or for tourist destinations, they sell. This one was comfort colors. It wasn't extra large. You can see here, we did use our reseller ruler to show the measurements of the shirt. And there was also a spot. So we zoomed in to show this spot. So even with the spot, this is still about a 13 to $14 profit. And then we have another Harley Davidson pen. Again, this one sold in hours after I listed it. It sold for $19.99. I am a dollar in, so it's about a $17 profit. It says Harley Davidson inside the tire and the wheels. It is less than an inch. There are no markings on the back. Here you can see though, I use brass logo, biker vest and hat. Why do I put biker vest and hat? Well, because what are bikers putting these pins on? They're putting them on vests, they're putting them on hats, they're putting them on jackets. So those are keywords that I use. And this one is about a $17 profit. Again, it sold in hours. All right, if you watch my Goodwill Benz video, I picked up six of these shirts. Four of them have sold in the last nine days for $19.49. I got them at the Goodwill Benz, so they were less than a dollar by weight. They are very light. They are all about a $17 profit. So that is gonna be close to a $60 profit on these four shirts. I did only put up this one to show you because the others were all exactly the same. So these caught my eye and what I did was look up this name brand here, Massif, and I was able to see how much they sold for. Again, really, really cheap at the Goodwill bins. I'm not a big clothing seller, but if clothing is all I can find, I will pick it up. So when I was in Birmingham sourcing, I picked up almost all clothes because that was all I could find in that area. And this is one of the few you're going to see that was an auction. It did only get two bids. I paid less than $30 for this watch. It sold for $102.50. So it's about a $50 profit. Now you can see here it says Benrus 21 Jewels. And I wasn't sure the actual value of this because I couldn't find comps. You can see here it says Alligator Calf on the band. Here it says Benrus 10 karat gold filled. So I did put all of that in my title, but you can see there are quite a bit of scratches there. So sold on a seven day auction for 102.50, about a $50 profit. I am happy with that. I started it at $99, which was the least amount I was willing to take. Here is another one. Again, I paid less than $30 for this. This is over a $60 profit. This one got three bids. It sold for $103.50. This one was a Belova. A lot of Belova watches can be valued and sometimes when you marry these name brands, so here I've got Harley as well as Belova, that can help. So again, over a $60 profit, started it at $99, and it only got a couple of bids, but I am perfectly okay with that. And you can see here, I zoomed in on the band. I also zoomed in on the back of the face so they could see what was inscribed on it. And again, this one was another auction because I did not know the value of it. So a quick $60 profit. This one, $65, vintage crown trifari brush gold braided rope. Now you can see here, that is why I put the braided rope. I paid $5 for this. This is about a $50 profit. You can see the pearls there as well. And there is the Trifari. So when you are looking at brooches, definitely make sure you look to see if they are marked. I think I'm gonna do one of my informational videos 
like I did for linens on brooches and maybe trinket boxes this coming Friday. So keep an eye out for that. We will look and learn what to pick up. This one is definitely a good one. Not all Trifari sells this high, but if you can keyword it like the braided rope, the pearls, the brush gold, then you can definitely do good with it. And this was about, again, a $50 profit. This one is Pastelli. It sold for $25.99. So this one's about a $15 profit. You can see here there is some wear to the leaf. That is why I priced it a little bit lower. And here is where it is marked Pastelli. Again, zoomed in close to that. You can see there's some wear to the back of this. So I am happy with the $15 profit on this one considering it had the wear and it sold in about three months. Next, this one took a while to sell. It took uh, about eight months to sell. This is a Doc McStuffins and Lammy toy. Picked it up for 99 cents. It sold for $25. It's about a $20 profit. You can see Lammy has the little stethoscope there and there is a small rip to the foot there. And I do show it from all angles. And I do look at plush guys, because if you can pick it up for 99 cents, turn it into $20 real quick. Not a bad profit. And to ship these, I just throw them into poly bags. They are very, very easy to ship. Next is another of my Louis Medic pieces. So these sold for a best offer of $250 and I am about $40 in. They are very close to a $200 profit for three bowls. I will tell you a lot of these Medic pieces and I just wanna show you guys the way that I photograph these just to give you some ideas for photographing bowls. But if you have three or four, you can definitely set them up where they look nice. You can see spoon marks inside of these. They were definitely used, the measuring tape. But here, because the pattern's more vibrant on the bottom, I showed the bowls upside down as my main photo. And again, a $200 profit. They sold in a little over a month. And a lot of these Medic pieces are priced low. But I priced them high because I actually have the majority of the pieces on the market. I I figured the lower pieces can sell and hopefully I will bring the value back to Louis Medique's work. He is a Northwest potter out of Washington state and his work is just absolutely stunning. So I'm very, very happy. And these actually did go back to Washington state. All right, this Harley Davidson was another on auction, started at $99, only one bid. This one's about a $40 profit. I paid 50, but you're gonna see, I got two of them for 100. You're gonna see the other one coming up and it sold for quite a bit more, not on auction. So if I can find a good history of these, I do not put them on auction. I only put them on auction if I'm unable to find the value of them. Not sure why I had Belova pictures in that. Hopefully that does not cause me an issue. So this pocket watch sold for 99. Again, $40 profit. I'm kind of wondering why I had those pictures in there. Hopefully the buyer doesn't think they're getting both. I think the same buyer bought this and that watch, so I should be okay. But didn't find any comps on this. That's why it's on auction. Only got one bid, but completely happy with that sale. Right. This is a Swarovski ornament. If you are not aware, watch for these ornaments. This one sold for $148. I do have one left. I picked these up in a high bid auction for about $30 each. This is about a $70 profit. So you can see I'm zooming in here. If you're wondering how I took this, this is simply laying on white paper. Laying flat, I remove the background. I do zoom in close to show the year, show the box as well. And this one sold in under two weeks for close to $100 profit. So I paid 30 bucks for it, but I knew that they sell fast. So I'm totally okay with that. These took about three months to sell, but this is an example of using keywords. You can see on my title, seahorse throw pillow covers, cases, nautical decor, theme, beach, blue, white. You want to put all the keywords in. These are not branded. I paid $2 for these. They are a $20 profit without a name brand. So I am simply showing the colors. I'm showing that it has the zipper opening for the pillows. And then here you see the measurements of the pillows. And again, they sold really fast. So if you find nice quality pillow covers, even without a brand, if you can keyword them right, it will sell.
this hat was another Goodwill find. I paid $2.99 and it sold for $59.99, over a $50 profit. This is a child's hat. This is not an adult hat. You can see here on the tag, it is a kid's large. This brand is absolutely amazing. I could tell it was quality just looking at it in the store. Plus it had the tag and just these bright colors. It just, it really stood out to me and it sold in under two weeks for $59.99 over a $50 profit on a hat. All right, this is another dollar buy. This one did take about eight months to sell. It is a watercolor painting, but I could not make out the name. Now, or I actually, I could. You can see here it says Walleen Henderson, but I couldn't find the artist. So I did not use up title space to put the artist when the artist was unknown. Okay, if I cannot find the artist, I'm not going to put their name in the title. This is just a little watercolor, matted, not framed, sold for $19.49, so about a $15 profit. Again, took about eight months. Here's another one somebody tried to lowball me on. They sent me a $9.99 offer. I declined. It sold for full price in less than two days. This one only took two weeks to sell. I picked this up at the thrift store for $2.99. This is over a $30 profit on a plate. This is Syracuse China. Not a very well-known brand, but this hula pie plate sells very very well it is just a 10 inch plate so keep your eye out for these there were a few of these uh sold there were not many listed and this was a really really quick 30 dollars profit these pajamas really really surprised me i picked these up for 99 cents in birmingham alabama they sold for 35 dollars in an hour they sold in an hour after i listed them somebody sent me an offer for 35 I accepted they are over a $30 profit. The brand name on these is Hatley, which Hatley seems to sell high. So keep an eye out, but watch for pajamas, guys. Pajamas and nightgowns can sell really, really high, and these sold very, very fast. I was picking them up, too, because it said Alaska, and again, you guys know I love, like, destination-type things. I did not know this brand was a bolo, but it definitely is, so keep your eye out for Hadley. This was a $30 profit in less than an hour. This is the first of the patches that you will see. So in addition to the 600 Harley Davidson pins I bought, I also bought about 25 patches. The patches I am about a dollar into, this one sold for $29.24 in less than a week. This was Harley Davidson for the 80 year anniversary. You can see the back here. And this is small, less than three inches. Watch out for Harley patches, watch out for Harley pins, especially if you can buy them in lots. This one sold very, very fast and is about a $25 profit. Next, I bought this in a lot. This one took about a month to sell. It was a 1990 world champion Cincinnati Reds. It sold for $19.49. I paid less than a dollar, so it's about a $16 profit. You can see it has like the game, who won, the scores. And this one was not in the best of condition. There was some wear to the cup. You can see here on the gold, but a really, really quick $15 profit. Uh, coffee mugs are something that are hit or miss, guys. They're really hit or miss, but if you find really unique ones, and some of the Starbucks mugs can sell for hundreds of dollars, so make sure to keep an eye out and just look and see if anything catches your eye in the coffee mugs while you're going through that aisle. All right, this one sold in about a month. This is a vintage native Southwestern woven basket. I put woven wall fruit basket tray star. This is not a Native American basket. This is just Southwestern design. I picked this up at the antique mall. You can see I do show a close up of the weaving and the middle. This one I paid $12 for, so it's about a $15 to $20 profit, and it was big. So definitely use serving if you get these bigger baskets because they can use be used to serve like bread or to put fruit in. That's definitely a good keyword, and this one sold very, very fast. All right, another of my convex glass portraits. This is a 16-inch 
or actually it's 18 inches by 12 inches, paid $20. This is over $130 profit, sold in under a month. I did get this from a personal buy. Three others sold on Monday. This one sold on Tuesday. And you can see I show the front, the back, and then here are the measurements. And I did put antique wall frame. You wanna put bubble glass, you wanna put convex. This one I put Victorian and I put grandma portrait because she just reminded me of a grandma and this sold very fast and the buyer has left positive feedback they are very happy with this purchase all right this one is another auction started it at $29.99 this was a pretty unfortunate circumstance I bought this from a high bid auction I did not even contact them because it was a UPS store that shipped them uh, they just did not protect this very well and it broke so I actually luckily was only about $12 into them each. Started it at $29.99. If it had not been broke, it was worth over a hundred, but I was happy to get 30 bucks. So I, I literally had it in the trash can and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put it up on auction for $30. See if I can get my money back plus a little bit of profit made about 10, 15 bucks. And I only got one bid, but that is okay. You can see here, I clearly show that it is completely broken. I show the year again, show the broken piece and the area that it broke off from. And again, it's still sold, sold for 30 bucks. So, you know, sometimes you gotta make the best of these situations. If something happens, you know, turn the lemons into lemonade. I paid $20 for the whole box of linens and just this one scarf paid for everything. And I got a lot for $20, less than a dollar in. This is about an $18 profit. It was a beautiful hand dyed silk scarf and it was signed. You can see here it was R. Zarouk. It was signed and here's what it looked like whole. Absolutely beautiful scarf, sold very, very fast. Keep an eye out for the linens, keep an eye out for the bright scarves, they do so. Here is another of the Harley patches. Again, less than a dollar into these. This one is an Electroglide. It was from a 1980s pan head. Found that out using Google Lens, doing a little research. And this one was dirty, it was older. I did show it and again, $38.99, so about a $35 profit on this one. You can see it looks like they originally paid either two or twelve dollars for this. Um, I don't try and remove that off of it. And this one was about five inches, and you can see it actually had a pinhole. This was on the board with my pens. So this one I bought with my pens, not with the patch lot. And this one sold in under a week, and again over a thirty-five dollar profit worth more, but I am completely happy with that. I think this is a cool hat. The uh, size was cut out, but it was an adjustable hat. So again, watch for your hats. Another thing I love to pick up for a dollar or two that make, you know, 15 to $20 pretty regularly weeks to sell it is a little miniature painting i got a bunch of these from george the antique nomad when i saw him at the mount dora extravaganza and then this one i actually got at his ant or his estate sale that he put on i paid a dollar for it and this one i think he just had not brought to mount dora it is the same artist which was signed little this one sold in under two weeks it does say a little original you can see it's a little five inch painting very very cute and over a 20 dollar profit this one took about seven months to sell i am only five dollars in you can see here i have a read in the title i am going to show you why this is over 150 dollar profit and here this is weeping willow is the pattern you can see the crazing which is the cracking and the glaze there and you can also see here there is a chip now i do zoom in i want it to be very very clear that this item had a chip to the person who bought it. So I put read, I showed the chip, you can see here it is marked Roseville and 782 is the number on the bottom there. And then again, I zoom in, it was almost 10 inches. This one did go international and again, over $150 profit. So if you find stuff that is rare but chipped, 
you can still sell it. Depending on how rare it is, it might still sell for a lot of money. These little nesting measuring cups I got for $1.99 at the thrift store. They sold for $19, so they're about a $14 to $15 profit. Really cute with the one cup. You can see we show all four here. And then the bottom of them, only one was marked, you can see here, with the bird made in China. And these sold in under two weeks. So keep an eye out again. Cute little stuff, bright colors, floral, it sells. This one. This thing, if you see, it is irregular. It was handmade. It was not even. I picked it up for $3.99. It sold for $25.99. It was about a $18 profit. It did take about eight months to sell. You can see I zoom in to show the pinwells here. And I did write, measurements are approximate. This is an irregular shape. Please see photo. This thing is by no means a straight throw, whoever crocheted it. Unless they meant to do that, I, I highly doubt it. But definitely really, really cute with the black and white stripes and it sold for an $18 profit. So with some of these uh, crocheted afghans, some will go for hundreds. Most of them are gonna be really, really bright, really bold patterns, some of the 3D flowers. This one is just a regular one, but I'm okay with $4 into 25. It is not a bad profit. All right, next. This is the other Harley Davidson watch. I told you I got two of them for $100. This one sold for $454. This was buy it now. This was not an auction. I listed it March 18th. It sold in under a week. It does, I was able to find comps using WorthPoint. If you are not using WorthPoint, WorthPoint gives you a 10 year history of when items sold. And I was able to find that this one sold around $500. So I was happy with the 454. You can see I zoom in on the watch fob, show the back. And I did not replace these batteries. I put that they needed new batteries and I put that it was as is. Very, very fast sale and about a $350 profit on this Harley watch. Again, watch out for Harley memorabilia. Watch out for watches, patches, pens, jackets, shirts, Harley sells. Harley sells and this was an absolutely great profit. This little sack root, this purse I paid I believe five dollars for it at the thrift store so it's about a ten dollar profit but it sold in under a week. Really really cute. I was hoping for more but I was able to find this exact pattern so I just priced in line with others exactly like this and this one sold really fast again under two weeks and these are really, really easy to photograph, list, and ship. Some of my purses I stuffed. This one we just laid flat, and I think it still looks okay. As long as they don't look really wrinkled, I, I don't mind photographing them without stuffing them. But if you have like a bigger handbag, I would recommend stuffing it with paper or something just so it has form when you take its photograph. So again, quick $10 profit. All right, this cute little seed bead necklace, I paid about $5 for. So this is another one about a $10 profit. Just something I absolutely love is Native American beaded work. Really cute with the little woman on the bottom. And this one sold in under a month as well. So quick $10 profit. All right, some more of my Swarovski ornaments. Again, paid 30. This one's about a $50 profit. And both of them sold. I had two of these. They have both sold. Swarovski ornaments sell fast, so I do not mind paying up for them. Here you can see this one had the interior box, the exterior box, the certificate of authenticity. So I show everything that I have for that ornament. Again, the close up, this one was not broken and really, really quick sales. Both of them sold in less than two weeks. This one took about eight months to sell. Really, really cool. This one was signed by Kim. You can see I put Asian silk painting from the 1960s. Just a really, really, really cool painting. You could tell that it was hand done. This is not a print and it was professionally framed down in Merritt Island. I paid less than $5, so this one's about a $30 profit, but again, this one did take about eight months to sell. The last item I have to show you is this vintage Hasbro Gons B. Moore's Flying Dinosaur. 
So this dinosaur actually had like happy and sad faces. This one is about a $28 profit. I paid a dollar at a Goodwill. And you can see here, I show that it flips. Like he has like a happy and sad face. Here, this flips down, that flips back. I have it showing with it flipped down and then it shows his claws. So again, watch out for plush. This one did take a very long time to sell, but again, very, very easy to photograph, list and ship. All right, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out if you're not a member of the channel. I do have channel memberships that help support me in the channel and help me to bring extra content. We do eBay store reviews to help you get more store sales and just improve your store. That will be this coming Monday. That is in the $1.99 level. The $9.99 level, we do member sourcing. I go online look, buy your zip code, find you stuff locally for you to buy and flip just like those you have seen here tonight. And then I have a $19.99, which includes all of that plus fun live shipping with myself, my husband and Dalton. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I have got a really busy schedule coming up. Immediately following this video, I will be live on Dom, primetime treasure hunters channel doing a thrift battle. I've made it into the top eight. I've made it through two rounds already. This will be my third round. There are two more rounds to the finale. So come over, support me. I would really, really appreciate it. You get to vote on the item you like the most. And I would love to see you guys in the chat. So I have that tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to be live on Dawn, the auction professor's channel, which that should be amazing fun as well. And then Sunday, I'm going to be live with Katie Reeds. Monday will be another video. Tuesday is my live. And then Wednesday is mine and Yvonne Thrifty Riches Sale, and I'm going to be doing all jewelry. So if you like jewelry, do not miss that one with myself and Yvonne Thrifty Rich. I hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you here in a few minutes on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. I will see you on Friday. We're going to do another research video. Bye, guys.